But anyway, you know, you and the fact that you brought up the uh, young man who got um, shot by the the cop, you know, we can go ahead and kind of talk about uh, yeah, where's that? that? Is, uh, Freeze, yeah. nation. Exactly. Apparently, I mean, from what I understand from the story, apparently they were trying to shoot this kid to get away. Yeah. Yeah. And I shout mean, out uh, to that. I, I, yeah. Shout out to that man for uh, the, the child from Little. Yeah, man. I'm Thank glad you for being glad to tell the story. Yes, yes, sir. Because uh, that could have went so far uh, left, man. I mean, it did go left, but you know, it could have been a lot worse. But yeah, basically, um, from what I understand, the little young boy was 11 years old. I believe the name was Darian uh, Murray, and um, he was the one that called the cops. And so when the cops get there, they're trying to get everybody to come out with their hands up. And then the little boy supposedly comes out with his hands up, and he still gets shot. An 11-year-old boy gets shot with his hands up, and you see, I think that see that's cowardly because it is that that there should be something in play, and unfortunately, you know, with organizations like Black Lives Matter, it's kind of fucked that up. But there should be something in play. Like if you if you clearly don't have a weapon, your hands is up. Why are you shoot? Right. And that, that person not a threat to you. Your hand, my hand is open. I don't have anything. So if my hands is up. How am I threat to you? Right. How am I a threat? Yeah, man, it, it's crazy, man. I mean, um, from what I understand, the cop is on paid leave. Man, fuck. He got a fucking vacation. I mean, you get a fucking paid vacation for shooting a little kid. And then they're probably going to fire him and then relocate him to another yeah. department. Yeah. But yeah, that's bullshit, man. Like, I mean, if nobody said anything, they wouldn't even fire him. They, if they fire him, it's only going to be because of any public outrage. You know what yeah. I mean? They're only going to do it just for us shut the people up. Uh, we'll, like you said, we'll relocate you. You know, somewhere where nobody will know who you are. And, you know, you'll you'll still make some good money and blah blah blah. Man, that's that's so messed up, man. I'm I'm so glad that that boy survived. That he can yes. actually tell the story. Yeah. Of how it happened because they've been interviewing him a lot and he's been telling the story exactly how it happened. So, you know, because a lot of times, like you said, when these people die, it gives the um, cops a chance to twist the story. Around. Oh, yeah. Because like, okay. you're not here to tell your side of the story. Yeah. You know what I mean, so you can't do that now. Yeah. Yeah, can't do that. yeah man. Shout out to uh, Gary and Murray, man. Yes, sir. That dude is yes, a trooper, man. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's crazy that he had to even go through that. But uh, he got to live with that scar, but I'm glad he still got to live. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, you know, y'all let us know what y'all think about that in the comments. You know, we want to hear from y'all. Um, you know, give us some feedback on that. All right. So uh, let me see here. Let's talk about Jam Master J. Um, All right. There has been a third man... Um, charged in his murder, which has been, what, 20 years? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad they found something going on, you know what I mean? Because they, they had, like, one or, uh, one or two people before, and it still wasn't solved, and so now they got a third man, so that's good. At least they're making some progress, taking them longer, you know what I mean? But still. Um, and y'all, by the way, y'all should go check out the... Um, Documentary Who Killed Jam Master Jay? That's a really good one. Yeah, that was a that, Netflix, right? that's, I believe it's Netflix. Yeah, yeah I didn't see that. That gave, yeah. gives a lot of perspective on the whole situation, man. Go check that out. I mean, the fact that this was over 20 years, and the fact that the damn priest team was literally like three blocks away from the studio. Yep, yep, yep. And y'all now just piecing this together? Uh huh, exactly. Well, yeah, man. So let me uh, fuck around and try to get like Bill, Billy Joe or some shit. Y'all had that shit wrapped up in like, <laughs> uh, that shit wrapped up right. in fucking like, and don't get me wrong, I like Billy. I like Billy. If you ever watch this, they ain't no disrespect. I like him. Right. I like yeah. in the middle of the night. We ain't, you know, we, yeah. just, we didn't start off. I like them shit. Yeah, man. Well, let me find out. Like, yo, I'm gonna, yo, I'm gonna get Billy right now, Saints. Right. <laughs> they had that shit wrapped up in 20 minutes. Exactly. This is a nigga get it. Man had a bullet. <laughs> 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 they had that shit wrapped up quick. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? Um, the, the, I'm, I don't want to move on 
jump too quick, but um, this is kind of funny to me, man. Have you heard about uh, what happened? Did my joint just cut on? Oh. oh, crap. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. LG acting funny. Yeah, LG acting funny, man. Hold on. Is that eighty percent? Oh. It must have just got a little hot because it feels a little warm. Oh, so let me just try yeah, it. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. see if it'll let me pick up. But yeah, hold on, y'all. We're gonna get this right. Yeah, let's give it a second. But yeah, um, we got we got a couple more things to talk about before we let y'all go. Uh, you know, I just want to mention those real quick. Okay, what was the funny thing? Um, Raz B, have you heard about what's been going on with him? The dude from B2K. Oh, no, nah. yeah, yeah, he uh, that's what I want to talk about. I want to make sure I'm recording though when I'm talking about it. Hold on, let me let me uh, see if I can get this recording again. All right, all right, let's see. Oh, boy. All right, let's see what Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anybody got LG phone? Yeah, don't get them to the right. <laughs> anyway, so right. Okay. Me. All right. So we back. Uh, so yeah, the funny thing I was gonna say is, uh, your man Raz B, man, they've been saying that you know he ain't got it all up here. You know what I mean? But there's a video of him. I guess he was in a hospital. Yeah. And he uh, somehow got on the outside of the building, was trying to scale the outside of the building, climbing up the outside of the building. Uh, I don't understand what's going on with this dude, man, but somebody did something to him that he ain't got it all. You know what I mean? But, yeah, he was out, and they actually showed him, like, you know, I think he broke a window on the outside of the um, hospital, and um, he was just trying to climb the wall. Like, like he was Spider-Man or some shit. It's like, what are you doing? I don't know, man. Y'all let me know. Maybe I'm missing something. Is he? I don't know. He's trying, trying to get that Miles Morales live action. <laughs> right. He's like, yeah, yeah. So I'm about to... ah, right, man, I'm right. gonna show you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be I'm Miles. I'm Miles Morales. I'm Miles Morales. I'm Miles Morales. You know I mean? I'm Miles Morales, nigga. Miles Morales. <laughs> but um, I just man, and you know, he just anytime he puts out a video, it's always some weird shit, man. He put out a video where he was just. Asking somebody to contact him, um, and he was trying to apologize. Uh, but you know, a lot of people was like, It's too little, too late. You know, one of them, you know, something that he should have apologized for many years ago. Um, but I don't know, man, I'm worried about that dude's mental status, man. Uh, you know, you should not be outside of no hospital. You were a patient because he was out there, he was in his hospital room, still in the hospital gown. Yeah. Trying to climb the fucking walls. Yeah, man, smiles around. Right, man. right. Smiles, man. Well, if if, I was, if in the video, it would be funny if he did one like this and just went, try to give it quick. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, yo, what the fuck is wrong with this? Yo, I lost that shit. I ain't yeah, going to lie. Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> this nigga really is trying to get it. Right. Trying to do the quick. <laughs> yo, I was dying, yo. I was dying. Um, you know, and I mean, mental health is no joke or anything. We're not joking about that. I'm just saying. Um, I, I hope he gets better because it seems like he really does have some um, mental health issues. You know? And listen, I mean, going back again to the, you know, to the creativity, to like I said, like what the, you know, music is now luxury. Yeah. When you're not really in those certain, I mean, and that's the thing too. You can only imagine what these when you a certain level they probably see certain things. And people are like, I don't understand why these stars, you know, they get money, but then they get on drugs. It's like, man, you don't know they have the shit they see. Right. That's why they get on drugs is they forget. It's not that it's not that, you know, they're trying to be like, oh, we gotta get on drugs. No, nah, they trying to tell you, like, look, that's some shit that I've seen that. I can't really deal with them. Only way this only way I can do it 
So, yeah, man. Yeah, man. And uh, like I said, man, you know, I'm still keeping on my thoughts, man, because, I mean, that, that's got to be rough, man, if you're really dealing with some issues. So, you know, I hope it gets better, man. But um, the only other thing I wanted to mention before we go, um, you know, some of y'all might have heard about this, but uh, Ghostface Killer from the Wu-Tang, he got a son uh, named Infinite uh, who put out, you know, basically put out some statements on the web saying that, you know, he couldn't keep it bottled in any longer and how Ghostface was uh, or is a deadbeat father and, you know, hasn't really talked to him in years and seen him and don't really help them and, you know, oh. same kind of thing that um, old girl was saying about Big Pun about, you know, saying he was living in a homeless shelter. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot. Since, you know, the son, you know, look, you know, yeah, he's, 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 he's uh, happy. regulus. Yeah. <laughs> happy, happy Pride Month. Yeah, Happy Pride Month. <laughs> yeah, we'll say Happy Pride Month. But yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. But, but no, um, I should, I'm sorry. No. I, I should, I'm not. <laughs> I shouldn't be joking. That's kind of fucked up. <laughs> but we, but nah, we, 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 just we, playing. we just playing. But, um, we're just but yeah, I mean, you know, I don't think, you know, of course that has nothing to do with him being a deadbeat father, but, you I mean, know, but, I don't know. Ghostface doesn't seem like that type, you know what I mean? So it's like, really, is that really what's going on? No, nah, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, like I said, I, I'm not in the, you know, I'm not in their house. I don't know what's, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. What's really going uh, on? What's really going on? Uh, to me, I mean, I don't understand how a man took care of uh, his two brothers and things, his family, uh, be like a deadbeat. I mean, not, I'm not, I mean, I don't know if, if I'm saying that because of what was portrayed in the, you know, Wu Tang America saga. Uh, well, you got that, and then you got uh, what is it? The you know the song that you know all that I got is you. All that I got is you. Yeah, yeah it's like I don't really see that from him. I mean, that's just that's just me personally. I mean, it, it could you know he could be telling the truth. You know, kids don't really lie like about that. But if you, but the only thing is now I feel you saying like, oh, you're a dead beat because. You know, you're not allowing me to do what I need to do. Right. Like, come on, that's that's kind of man. That's kind of weak. I'm you telling know? you, man. I, I hope um hope it's not true, man. But you know, Ghostface has yet to respond, as far as I know. If anybody has heard any response from Ghostface, let us know. But I have not heard any response from him. Which, if if that's the case, he's probably handling it the smart way behind the scenes. Like, I could see him probably looking like, you know, why would we? Put our business in the streets like, like that, you know yeah, 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 yeah. so you know he probably been back and forth on the phone with 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 with, with old boy or old girl. I don't I don't know. Is he does he is he one of those that you know oh, you mean his pronouns or she or something like that? I don't want to be disrespectful, but I don't know. You never know nowadays. I know he's definitely not. He doesn't appear to be um, heterosexual. No, I don't cut a dick off, man. I don't cut off a dick, man. <laughs> What's up, Boosie? I, I had to do that. I had to do that. Man. What's up, Boosie? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, Boosie is the trick, man. Yeah, it was hilarious. But, yeah, but, man, um, so, you know, I just, you know, I hope um, it's not true. You know, I hope Ghost is handling the business. And, and yeah, I hope there's definitely some, and it's all serious. I do hope there's some, you know, uh, how do you say? Reconciliation. Thank you. There you go. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want the trendy, man. <laughs> I was shouting out them words. Hey, man, you know, it's all right, man. This, this, this is country, you know, this is country boy. I'm city boy, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, it is what it is. I know. Hey, look, I know what it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be a southern. Yeah, man, ain't nothing wrong with that, you know. All right, man. As long as you ain't holding up no rebel flags or whatever. <laughs> South gonna rise again, boy. I tell you what. I tell you what. God damn, <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> man. Yeah, man. But um, nah, nah, I ain't with that shit. Oh, speaking of which, so um, there was a I think there was like a petition to make uh, you said the rebel stuff um. I forgot the guy's name. I think I shared it with you. There's a uh, 
there was a guy, it's been a meme, well, not a meme, but something you share across the internet. But there was actually a black man who fought in the Confederacy and fought for his freedom to get on the other side. But he dressed up as a Confederate soldier, dressed mm. up like a decoy and wow. did all types of shit wow. and got shipped out to get on the other side. Yeah, man. It was wow. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, that, I think that's a petition to like, yeah, we need to make this a movie. Yeah, man, that's interesting, man. You know, I, I haven't heard anything about it, but I bet that's interesting, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's like, why are y'all, you know, so stagnant and there's more there's more stories to tell. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. exactly. Going back to the creativity. Yep. yep. You know, so there's definitely more stories to tell. And it's like, why are y'all just not, you know, it's like y'all used up everything and now y'all ain't got nothing else to tell. Oh, oh yeah. wait a minute. Let me do this. Why don't y'all tell them about y'all's history? Right, right. Exactly. Yeah, tell man. tell what y'all did. Tell them, yeah. Mean? Yeah. How y'all got most of the stuff y'all got. Yeah. You know what I mean? Why don't y'all do that? We ain't we ain't gonna do that though. Nope. Yeah, we ain't gonna do that. Nope. So I I I bet money they ain't gonna do that one. But anyway, you know. Um, like I said, man, I hope things uh, 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 get worked out with, with Ghostface and his son. Yeah, definitely. definitely, definitely. Um, you know, and you know, for the LGBTQ, like you said, you know, we, you know, we support the Pride Month. You know, we, we ain't got no problems with it. Uh, whatever we say, we just be, you know, be funny or whatever. But uh, um, you know, it's it's just one of the things. I hope that um, you know, he's working on the behind the closed doors or whatever, so that. It don't have to blow up any further than it did. No. You know, so uh, I'm I'm anxious to hear, you know, from either Ghost or the Son, you know, let us know that they worked it out or something. But I mean, I'm just trying to figure out what he, what he was dead be about. Because I'm just trying to figure it, out. I think it was mostly about money, and I think he said he didn't he hadn't seen him in a while too. I think he said he hadn't seen him in a few years, mm -hmm. and also that it got so bad that they was homeless, living in a shelter. Mm. And Ghost didn't help him out, you know what I mean? So I don't know. So you know, it's one of those things. But you know, it's it's funny because whenever stuff like this happens, it, I always listen real carefully at what people say. Yeah. And you know, he he started off the video and he was like, you know, uh, you know, you left us high and dry. We ain't had no money. We was homeless. You know, you didn't do anything to help us out financially. But then toward the end of the um video, he was like. You know, we don't want your money. You know what I mean? We don't we don't even want money. It's not even about money. But you kind of made it about money. money you know what I mean? You made a big stink about it being about money. I mean, I'm sure that's not all it was about. But you can't say, you know, you didn't do anything for us financially and then turn around and say, but I don't care about money. money. No. Yeah, you got it. You kind of do. So if that was the case, you wouldn't have never brought up that part. You would have just said he's been absent, and that's it. I don't yeah. like the fact that he's been absent. Been absent and been there, yeah. So you know, and I, you know, who knows, man? We don't know the whole story, but I, I am interested to know how it turns out. So, and if y'all know any updates on it, let us know. You know, put that in the comments, and we'll go from there. Um, did you have anything else you wanted to drop? Oh, real quick. So I was exercising yesterday, right? Imagine that. <laughs> anyway, so I was on the treadmill and I was looking because you know how the treadmill they got like different you know they got different news outlets and things you want. Yeah. CNN dropped saying that there have been eight hundred plus UFO sightings. Was that like over a long period of time or was I that like it was hey. over the course of the year because I just seen like I just seen like attack, but it's just like Wait a minute, y'all mean to tell me y'all niggas just run it and y'all see y'all see that? Y'all find that alarming? Like, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. 800? Come on, man. What y'all doing? And we, we need to know about more of this stuff, man. I mean, nah, I think they trying to keep they, they I think they slowly trying to get this out. Because I mean, right, right. There's some things that they don't want us to know and be truthful. I don't think we're ready for it. We're not. We're probably not. But, you know, that's the only way we're going to get ready for it is to know about it. You know yeah. what I mean? So, you know, if it's been 800 of them, you know what I mean? Man, that means there's something going on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I said, there's been, you know, they released that one footage. And, you know, when the lockdown was going, they released that one footage 
saying about the whole, uh, you know what I'm saying, showing that they was actually, you know, saw a craft flying in 2001. So, you know what I'm saying? So, really, what else? If that was in 2001 and they was holding that, yeah. what else they were told? I mean, they've been saying they've been spotting them things since, like, the 70s and stuff. Yeah. Man. I've been hearing about stories about stuff like that for a long time, and maybe even back to the 60s. But, you know, it's just more so recently been more mm -hmm. corroborated. So, you know, we'll see, man. But, mm -hmm. yeah, it's definitely something going on, man. So, y'all better get ready. Yep, yep. You know, I ain't getting probed, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm not getting probed. <laughs> Don't cut off the man. Come on, 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 man. <laughs> I mean, you going to take you gonna take a nigga up in the shop in, in the uh, spaceship, whatever, man. Don't cut off my dick, man. <laughs> Yo, Boosie is a fool, man. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, man. <laughs> uh, last time, don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Brothers and sisters, we appreciate y'all and we need funds. We need fruit. Allocated. Allocated, so Get some of that, man. You know what I'm saying? Some of that no frills government food. You, you know, know what I mean? Saying stuff that just say food on this one. Right. Ain't got no, <laughs> ain't got no damn uh, brand nothing. Yeah. Man. I should just say food. Just uh, pasteurized cheese food. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Milk. How <laughs> Powdered milk. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> exactly. Ain't got no bread. Ain't got no bread. <laughs> Bread. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Marina, not bread. This ain't marina, nigga. This just bread. <laughs> bread, nigga. You know. But anyway, uh, for episode 244, this has been Kirk, and this has been Al. And we will see y'all on the next one. Peace. Peace.